Good morning, gang. It is a little before 5 a.m. I just rolled out of bed. As much as I am a morning person, I don't wake up with lots of energy and enthusiasm, contrary to popular belief. I had to get my dog out of the bed and then get my butt out of the bed. And I'm frustrated right now because I'm teaching a bar class at Grit. So first thing I do when I get out of bed is I go to the bathroom and put my workout clothes on. And I can find three different sets of grip socks and none of them match. I am not the most organized person. This is my sock drawer. So, after I find matching socks, oh yes. Yes. Okay, now that I have matching socks, I'll go downstairs and I'll start my morning routine. Yay. Okay, just so you guys know, here's my outfit for today. Um, I'm teaching, like I said, a more bar uh, inspired class. It's called Power Bell. It's a class at Grit, but um, the class format that I'm teaching very much informs what type of workout clothes I'm going to wear. So this is an Outdoor Voices Tech Sweat set. Um, whenever I teach more of like a bar class, I can wear these kind of fun crop tops that aren't as supportive, if you will. This one actually is pretty supportive, unlike some of the other um, more crop top styles. But because the bar class is like very low impact, we don't really jump around a lot. It's more like total body toning. I can wear this. Um, I always like to wear long leggings because um, it's not as sweaty, so they keep me warm. And then also, y'all are gonna see my toothbrush, whoops. Um, grip socks that I finally found the match to. Um, these are important uh, because it is a barefoot class, but I really don't like to be barefoot and these still allow me to grip the floor. And for those of you who are curious, this is my closet. As you can see, all workout clothes. <laughs> not organized by color or anything like that. A little bit organized by brand though. These are all of my Outdoor Voices dresses. These are all my Outdoor Voices act, uh, uh, tech, not tech sweat, the other brand, I forget. Tory Sport, more Outdoor Voices, long sleeve. And then my real normal clothes, like sweaters and stuff, I've only got like a little bit of that. All right, guys, welcome to my kitchen. My favorite part of my morning routine is my coffee, yay. I'm getting to pick my mug for the day. We've got the Retro Grit Fitness Mug or Queen Bee. I'll go with Queen Bee because I probably won't finish my coffee uh, before it's time to go, so I'm just gonna put it in the to-go mug and I'm out of water. If you have watched my uh, morning routine video, you know that I have a six step process that I follow every morning and I'm not just blowing smoke, like I truly do do that process. So it's, um, you know, I wake up obviously, water, I have, um, a bottle of water and my husband puts half, uh, he puts lemon juice and pink Himalayan sea salt in it. He sits it by my bed. So I chug it right when I get up. So I was too grumpy when my alarm first went off. So you didn't get to see me start that process, but I'm not allowed to have the coffee until I finish the water. So done. Then coffee um, and I'll take a seat here at my kitchen table for a little bit and go through the rest of my morning routine. So already just by finishing my water and smelling my coffee, I'm in a better mood. Like I said, I'm a morning person who does not wake up like, oh, yay. Like it takes me a while to like get my mind right. Um, this is a creamer that I use in my coffee that I love. It's a superfood creamer. Um, I've discovered it during the fall because it was pumpkin spice flavored, but I really love it because it's more of um, MCT oils 
And so like if you're into the whole bulletproof craze, bulletproof coffee, which my husband is, I'm not really, um, but it's just a good source of like healthy fats. oil and foam like a foamy frothy oil layer on the top so so my day cannot start right unless I have this time and I feel so vulnerable right now letting y'all just see me no makeup my weaves all hey this is real life this is real life. So um, now that I've got my coffee, the other steps of my morning routine are writing in my journal. This is a journal that I made. So every single day I write the exact same prompts. Okay. So the questions I ask myself are, um, you know, what are three things I'm grateful for? Um, what am I proud of myself for? What am I excited, hopeful, and optimistic about? What's my intention for the day? And then what are my other thoughts? I also write affirmations, positive affirmations about myself, starting with I can, I am, and I will. And I'll just put the date up here at the top. And any other thoughts or things I have to do, I'll put that in there. But I fill this out every day. I've done it for like two or three years, maybe. And so I really enjoy it. After that, I'll do my reading, my devotional. I'm doing one from Priscilla Schreier right now, who I really love. And it's about um, hearing the voice of God and really surrendering. And that's kind of been my word for 2021 has been to surrender instead of just sweat. Because I'm really good at just like working hard. But sometimes um, I have a hard time stopping doing things that are not effective for me. So I've been looking for devotionals and other sources of uh, inspiration to help me with that theme. So I'm going to sit here and finish this. And then I'll meditate for five minutes um, because I'm not like a pro meditator. Five minutes is really the most I can do. I've done 10 minutes like a couple times, but I'll do that. And then as soon as I'm done, I'll uh, head back upstairs, brush my teeth and get out of here. All right, gang. As you can see, it is still pitch black dark outside. Just how I like it. On my way to teach my 6 a.m. fitness class and this is also I have to say one of my favorite parts of the morning is driving to work because I have a full-on praise and worship gospel music session in my car uh, praise and worship music is by far my favorite kind of music uh, I love Maverick City music Hillsong uh, my church at Shoreline has good music uh, Nicole and David Binion. I mean, they're just so many. So I think it just hypes me up, gets my mindset ready, gets me some motivational wisdom to share with the rest of my class. So I kind of use this as my meditation time too. So I'm off to the studio. All right, I'm pumped up now. Just made it to work. Got my mask in hand because COVID obviously. And it's game time, baby. Time to pump these ladies up. Time to make them show their grit. It's a rainy Friday morning, so hopefully people still have their motivation to get out of bed. Oh, there's puddles everywhere. Get out of bed and get their sweat on. Um, teaching fitness classes, specifically early morning classes, has made me a morning person um yes when i wake up i'm a little bit cranky gotta go through my morning routine gotta get myself in the right headspace but working out is the final step in my morning routine so it's wake up water coffee read journal meditate and then work out and by the time i'm done with that y'all i feel in Incredible. I feel incredible. Getting through the process is not always the easiest, but once I get through it, I feel awesome. Just ready to conquer the day. So, um, welcome to Grit Fitness. Oh, yay. The girls are in there getting it in. I'm super confused. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a 6 a.m. class going on. I'm like, why are people in there? Am I late? 
No, I'm not late. <laughs> There's a 6 a.m. class going on. I'm teaching at 7 a.m. today. I'm subbing a class. So this is one of my fitness studios. This is Grit Fitness. I don't know if you can see the sign, but this is my oldest location. I have three studios. Um, we've had to make a lot of changes since COVID, obviously. Face mask required. Let me put my face mask on. And let's get it in, y'all. Good morning. How are you? This is Harriet. Working the podcast. How's it going? Good, good. Getting it in. Getting it in. This is my office. I'll show you guys around. This is where I work. So, um, ever since the pandemic hit, I honestly don't work in here as much. I've been working from home a lot, um, which really doesn't make sense because I work alone. I'm like a, not a solopreneur, but like, you know, most of my team, only two members of my team are full-time staff. The other are all contractors are part-time. And so they're usually just here to work the front desk or teach their classes. So, I mean, there's no need for them to be here all the time. Um, so I could easily come here and work, but I don't know. I just kind of been working from home. Um, I redecorated my office last year to try to make it a little more organized, but I've got my degrees here. Um, I played basketball in college. So these are some pages from my media kits undergrad at Cornell, Harvard Business School. Really proud of those accomplishments. Um, I do like to whiteboard and write out my like to-do list and things that are on my agenda calendar for the year. This is a little zipper ad hoc closet I have of just extra workout clothes, extra shoes, boxing gloves, stuff like that because you never know when I'm gonna have to just pop in and teach a class on a dime. Here's all my fitness certifications. Um, when I first started teaching fitness classes, the first class I ever learned how to teach is called Turbo Kick. And uh, we got all of our music and all of our uh, video instructional videos on DVDs and CDs. I saved them all. I put most of them on MP3s now, but it just keeps me grounded and remembering where I started. Um, my family. My brother and sister, I'm the oldest of four kids. And I love this part. Um, this is a plaque that one of my friends got me from my very first fitness studio. Um, it was over in the East Dallas area. It was a little hole in the wall that I subleased some space from. And it was just a really awesome start, awesome experience. So I'm gonna go over my playlist real quick. Um, go over my class plan real quick make sure my music is good to go and then I'll see y'all in the studio to sweat. What's up? It was a great Friday morning. I uh, had a really fun time teaching class. And fortunately, because now we record uh, 50, 60% of our classes for our virtual platform, I'm able to share a little bit of this morning's workout in this vlog. So you can see a little bit of grit in action. But as you can see, after my morning routine, I'm a whole new woman. I got my shower, got my makeup on curled my hair extensions, and now Zach and I are gonna enjoy the day together. Um, usually on Fridays, today is Friday, I work half a day and then spend the other half of the day with my awesome husband, just so we have some quality time together. It's kind of like our date day. Um, if I wasn't subbing a class this morning, which I did this morning, typically I would get up a little bit later and then Zach and I usually work out together on Friday morning. So we'll like either do a workout at home or go to his gym, the meathead gym, 
gym and do a workout or go outside or something like that. Um, but I was subbing a class this morning, so it was a little bit of an anomaly. Um, I just got dressed and I'm wearing more outdoor voices. Yay! Today is a little um, tracksuit set. I just got some new kicks too, which I'm really excited about. They were on sale, treated myself. Pearl is like, come here. Her favorite thing to do is sit at our back door and just like act like she's gonna jump out. <laughs> so, um, all showered now. Um, I had to upload some videos to our virtual platform of workouts that I've taught this week. Um, had to send a few emails. I had a couple speaking engagements yesterday, so I did some follow up on that. Um, we had an instructor who wasn't feeling very well. So with COVID and everything going on, um, I tell my team that if you have any symptom whatsoever, headache, cough, whatever, please don't come to work, get subs. So she had just reached out to me and I got all her classes covered for tomorrow. So that's all set. All the grit work is kind of done for the day and Zach and I are gonna go enjoy the day. Um, on the docket today, we're gonna hang out with some of our couple friends. Um, my best friend from Harvard Business School and her husband, we're gonna go have drinks um, and dinner tonight because she is starting her own business and quit her corporate career. So we're just gonna celebrate that new chapter. And then also Zach got me some really beautiful uh, diamond earrings for Christmas. And so today I'm gonna go get my ears pierced a second second hole so that I can wear my new uh, diamond studs every day. They just kind of be like the earrings I wear every day. So I haven't got my ears pierced since like, I was like 14 or something like that when I got my cartilage pierced. Um, I think I got my cartilage pierced like three or four times because it would always like get infected and I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get my ears pierced today. I'm gonna hang out with some friends, spend some time with my awesome hubby and just enjoy the Friday. So anyway, just wanted to give you all an update. Hey guys, happy Friday. Hey. Um, we got done with our morning routine, got some work done, and now we're gonna go grab some lunch. Um, and there's a brewery that Zach wanted to go visit, so we're gonna go there so he can get some to-go beers. <laughs> and um, then we're gonna go get my ears pierced, and I'm <laughs> nervous because I have not been to like any sort of piercing place since I was like 14 maybe but Zach bought me these beautiful earrings for um for Christmas and just over the years I've worn so many like dangly earrings that my earlobe hole is kind of stressed out or stressed out stretched out and I'm scared that if I put my nice earrings in there they might like fall out or something when I'm yeah. looking through like like actually go through so wish us luck <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe maybe if we're inspired, we might get a tattoo. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we would get. We have matching BZ tattoos, but we're really into manifesting, right, babe? Mm -hmm. So maybe kids. So maybe we'll like get a tattoo of our favorite kid's name and just manifest a healthy baby coming soon. Um, if you're watching this video, um, you probably should have already watched my IUI test results. We the third IUI was not successful, um, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, we did that pregnancy test together, but I've decided that we're going to enjoy this journey, and the journey is the reward. So if it didn't happen, it just wasn't supposed to happen, then, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. We know it's going to happen. For sure. We know we're going to be parents, and you know we'll just enjoy where we are right now. So right now we're getting ear piercings and maybe tattoos. So. <laughs> We'll take you inside on the journey. Trent said I got style for you. Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you. Big you up and they look down on you. Take one lost, no one's around for you. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. All done. Did I do good, babe? Mm -hmm. You did well. Uh, Correct my grammar. Yeah, you did well. I actually, I actually always say good. I don't know why I didn't do that. It actually didn't hurt that much in the process. It stings a little bit now, but. I did it. Cheers. That's worth celebrating. All day. I need to sign a release before. Yeah, I know, right? Fred, did you do that? That's a good idea. I have not sign
wow, that's like a really nice video. <laughs> 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 new iPhone. Isn't, isn't it so good? It's like my vlogging phone. Yeah.